happening folks out there in the wacky land of YouTube? It's your boy Hatfree Speaks and we're going to go get in today with Queen! 1977 rock and roll melody baby, I ain't talking Wembley, I'm talking outside of Wembley, before Wembley, before the infamous, uh, I guess as Brian said, before they were perfect, how they were uh, as opposed to Montreal, all right, so I'm exploring their, a lot of their stuff again, you know, it's pretty good, what do you mean again? <laughs> it's always been here, it's always been here, the only question is, where have you been? Because I've always been here, baby, I've always been here, the question is, where have you been? All right, so before I get into this reaction, if you, if you haven't already, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in exploring music with your boy, both past and present, here's a, here, here's here's a, uh, what I'm going to say is the selling point or the key point here. Across all genres. Across all genres. All right, I said it. That's why you subscribe. To explore music with your boy across all genres. Irrespective of however the artist may look preferences whatever i don't care i do not care i care about the music and if it resonates we're going to be in it together i get to share that with you because you've taken the time to watch the but i say damn video and i said it all right so that's what's up if you haven't already guys check out the queen playlist i'll leave a link here somewhere so you can go and uh, go cop that loads of reactions there some good ones, some ones where I've kind of messed up. At one point, I used to call the red special, special red. <laughs> but that's it. That's it, folks. You know, it's a learning thing. It's a learning thing. You know, I wasn't even... Anyway, I'll save that for another day. First time listen, first time reaction. Rock and roll melody, baby. Let's go. Everybody rock and roll! Oh, blimey. figured it out now i think the reason why i don't discriminate queen against any time period you already, you guys already know that but obviously they look they, they are so young here they are very young and it's it's interesting to see i guess the polished you know, brian may said we weren't the polished group that you saw in wembley i met he mentioned that in my montreal reaction i did um but it's it's good to see how they're grooving and how dynamic they are and a lot of smiles on their face i mean brian may if he's catched and that bass as well everything just considering considering they weren't the polished queen as everyone knows they're really good <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say and i think um every artist musician group don't matter how how do you feel in your day guys how do you feel in your day you're not going to feel the same at 2 p.m. as you did yesterday. You're not going to feel the same at 2 p.m. as you did last week, last year, or even two years ago, right? Even, let's go back, even 10 years ago, right? You got different people in your life. Economy's changed. The world's a different place. So you reflect what's going on in that time, in that time frame, all right? It's nostalgia mixed in with, I guess, realism. So for me, there is anyway i'll jump back in i don't want to go on a tangent guys let's just just jump back in with the music maybe someday i'll share what i'm what i'm what's here okay we'll see <laughs>
Freddy looks absolutely outrageous in this one. I just have to mention that. He looks absolutely outrageous. What is going on here? <laughs> he looks like a shooting star almost. Like, like, so much glitter on him. It's incredible. <laughs> We're a rock and roll band, baby. What's that about? <laughs> Sorry, not glitter, sweet uh, sequence before you get at me in the comments. Sequence, alright? That wasn't my computer that made that sound. I think that's the, the video quality right there. Bass. Check out the bass. Check out John. You know what? The thing with this geezer, gentlemen, do excuse me, apologies. This gentleman, Mr. Deacon, he's the same bloke. <laughs> if you watch every video of Queen almost, Montreal is a bit different. He's hopping around and stuff. He's the cool cat in the group. Literally. <laughs> he's so level headed. It's unreal. He's, oh, oh my days! I don't know how he can be so level-headed. I don't. I don't know how he's done it. How, man! All that attention on the stage, screaming fans, Freddie Mercury running around causing havoc, the Red Special, Roger Bang, and then my guy, Mr. Deacon, just cool as can be. Check out the bass, baby! Check out the bass here. <laughs> Roger. Take it. Come dance. Keep dancing. Keep dancing to the day I'll start. Keep dancing to the day I'll start. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Oh, 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 oh
going back for that one. Orgasmic Freddy letting it out. Tempo change. What on earth? I'm glad it just went up to his waistline there. Look at these guys. I'll give my comments at the end, but look at these four. Absolutely grooving. The brothers. The brothers be grooving, son. The brothers be grooving and moving, shaking what their mama gave them. Literally. All out on the stage. Primal rage. Testosterone, adrenaline, baby. It's all there for you. Damn. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> take it off, take it off. <laughs> Communicating. Shall we go on a bit more? Encore. You know what? We gotta go. Bye bye. <laughs> we hope it's come across that way. My guys, my friends, Queen, listen. You did you have not done anything wrong. <laughs> You've just you are yet you have already created masterpieces, my friends. You already have done it. So humbled. Such a humbling guy, man. I mean the whole band, but here, when he says I hope we had a really good time. I hope it came across well, you know. <laughs> cool, blimey. That is incredible. It's always cool to see how 
Anyway, yeah, I told you, I don't know, I've got a lot on my mind, but I'm just saying it's just one of those things where, like, you think the success they've already had to date, they don't even know, or nobody knows, the road ahead of them, what's going to happen in terms of how much music is. I keep thinking about innuendo as well, you know, especially with the bit it says bye bye at the end. If anyone from Queen's listening here, please sample this out. Freddie's bit here, if you can get permission, use it in another song. If you can. That bit's really fantastic. I've never heard him say, bye-bye, we gotta go, it, bye-bye. You know, it's just so cool. You know, it's a cool thing to be, to, it's a cool thing to have in a song. <laughs> if I ever have an intro, intro, outro video, I might even put that in there myself. Well, I'll get copyrighted for that. Anyway, jump back in. But yeah, do excuse me. Um, just absolutely touched with, with, with how humble, the humbleness. Take 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 something out of that. Yeah, yeah. Bye. 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 Ooh. Oh. 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 He'll go back to Roger and, and ask for stupid Cupid. If you catch it, you can hear it. Stupid Cupid. There you go. Good job. Oh, where's the gong? Thank you, God bless you all. Sweet dreams, everybody. Yeah, I said, wow. What was all that? What was all that? That was... <clears throat> do excuse me. Didn't expect the, the British anthem to be played at the end. I know we have a lot of viewers from across the world here. Um, so, it is what it is. I know Queen used to do that... Um, pl play the anthem at the end or some point. Uh, God save the Queen. Naturally, Queen, Queen play on that I don't know but I want to say while we're on the topic rest in peace Prince Philip Duke of Edinburgh unfortunately passed away 9th of April I've not made like an official thing on YouTube about it and stuff but since that came up it just triggered that aspect of it you might have your thoughts about royalty whatever fair enough fair enough I'm just putting it out there so that was it. That was Queen Melody. It's pretty cool to see all that noise, all that, I guess, 
Razzmatazz, love it. You know, love it. Usually I say I don't have time for any Razzmatazz or gimmicks, but this, this, this to see, you know, Freddie asking the fans, you know, we really enjoyed it. Hopefully it came across that way. He doesn't want anyone to misunderstand it. What, what's to misunderstand about? You guys are on stage giving your time, giving your life to entertain, doing your passion, right? I understand it because I'll be honest with you guys, music, listening to it, sharing it with you guys is a passion of mine, for real. So uh, when he was saying that, I was like, wow, that's that's so humbling. You know, I was like, wow, you know, I never thought of it that way. You know, sometimes people, you know, they were having so much fun with the audience and the songs were coming out. He actually said, Ho hopefully it came across that way for you guys. Why would it not? Why would it not? My dear friends, why would it not? You know, if anyone's got an issue with it, that's their issue. Right, just keep doing what you were doing and what well, you, you guys did. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that was fantastic. Love, you know what? John actually took center stage, literally. He was actually stood right in front of Roger, predominantly. Half the time, maybe the third of it, the, the last third of the video perhaps, stood predominantly in front of Roger the entire time. The entire time. But there's one thing I've been noticing. Freddie's always running to Brian, always running on the stage to uh, to the drum set where Roger is, but I never see him properly go full on with John. You know what I mean? Like singing next to him, jamming along, you know, doing all that boisterous stuff. Never see it get so much with John. You know what I mean? So John was there in front of the drums. Freddie didn't even go once and act up. He just went over there saying to Roger, hey, we're gonna do uh, Stupid Cupid. Yeah, we got that Brian Stupid Cupid. All right, cool. What about John, my friend? So again, you know, but again, I mean, it's just different dynamics here, but he, like I said, he's level-headed. It's all good, it, you know, and I was just so amazed with to see the, I guess, adaptability and real rawness that the band had such at such an early stage. So it's, it's good to see how they were, I guess, pursuing their passion, really. You know what I mean? This wasn't a game for them. This wasn't something they did. And look at the success or, I guess, um, relevant they've been, even till today. You know, even today, you know, what's going on? 2021, I'm reacting to something from 1977, baby. What's going on? <laughs> that was my reaction. Make sure you're staying safe. Do not forget about the Queen playlist. And before I do bounce out of here, I want to thank Lovey M for putting a request out there on Patreon. There is a link below in the description box. We're heading getting involved with the channel on all that good and groovy stuff. Nobody's obligated. You could just hit subscribe and enjoy the journey. All right, past and present across all genres. Let's roll. Make sure you're staying safe and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.